Well, well, well. Trunks versus Silver. But with a twist! It's it's Xeno, Trunks, and Archie Silver. Yay! <laughs> At least it's a little more debatable this time. Um, so, if you don't know, Black Adam vs. Apocalypse just came out. My review will be out probably tomorrow. Um, and, uh, yeah. The next episode, it's gonna be Xeno Trunks vs. Uh, Archie Silver. Now, a lot of you have wanted a longer episode or a longer video this time, so you know what? Wish granted. This is going to be a little longer than my Black Adam vs. Apocalypse debate was, or the prediction was, so let's uh, get into it. I actually have a whole list of like their hacks and resistances, even though I kind of cut out Silver's, re or, uh, not Silver, uh, Trunks' resistances, because good lord there was a lot. And I am, like, way too lazy to type down anything. But just know, he resists a lot. I'm pretty sure he kind of resists the same things that Silver does. <clears throat> if I remember correctly. But, um, yeah. So, speaking of the boy, let's start off with Trunks himself. So, for starters, we all know that since he's a Dragon Ball character, he's basically a skilled martial artist. He's super skilled. And he also has great control of Ki. Uh, for those who don't know, Ki is, like, this, like, life energy. Kind of similar to, like, Chi. In fact, it's the exact same thing as Chi. But, like, <clears throat> on the way crazier scale. And, uh, Trunks, Xeno Trunks, specifically, also has access to God Ki. Which, um, is basically Ki, but for gods. Do not take a drink- do not take a drink every time I, I say the word key, because you will be dead in, like, the first 15 minutes. Or however long this video turns out to be. <clears throat> anyway, so he can also fly, and due to his Saiyan heritage, he also has enhanced senses. Um, he's fast enough to create after images, powerful enough to create shock waves. Um, he also has different transformations that boost his stats, like Super Saiyan, uh, and also Super Saiyan God. Then, he also has a bit of telekinesis as well, surprisingly enough. He can also teleport, time travel, and travel through dimensions. And surprisingly enough, Xenotrunks also has battlefield removal. I didn't know that until looking him up. So, there's that. Um, Xenotrunks can also heal himself. Like, it's just minor, but it's still a heal. It's still healing. <clears throat> And, oh boy, this is where we get to the big stuff. He also has a little bit of space-time manipulation, as well as limited portal creation, and on top of that, he also has probability manipulation. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up yourself. And then we get to his trump card. The Key Sword. Now, I don't mean Key Sword as in K-I Key. I mean Key Sword as in it's just a sword. It's like a really big sword. It's very anime. And it is overpowered as hell. I don't know the exact specifics of how this thing works. But all I know is that it's pretty freaking powerful. And is able to nullify abilities as well. Specifically, like, hacks and stuff. So, that's Silver. Um, or, uh, that's not Silver, that's Trunks. Silver, <clears throat> this is the guy I'm talking about next. My fourth favorite Sonic character. Surprisingly, he's behind Sonic himself. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, my favorite Sonic characters go Knuckles, Shadow, Sonic, then Silver. I'm a big Hedgehog fan. <laughs> Alright, so, let's be honest here. Or let's let's get real here. So silver, his main weapon is his psychokinesis, which basically it's just like what it says. He can basically move stuff with psychokinesis. He can move like make stuff float, eat stuff without picking it up. Pretty strong all around. He can also fly using psychokinesis, 
and create force fields and stuff. He also has a bit of telepathy as well. And also he can manipulate time and time travel and teleport and heal himself as well. Silver is a crazy dude as well. Then when you get to... <clears throat> then you get to other stuff. So Silver, he can also warp reality as most Archie can characters can. Um, he also can, can, he also has uh, conceptual manipulation, uh, higher dimensional manipul manipulation, uh, battlefield removal, like trunks, uh, healing, duplication, causality, uh, types 1 and 4, compared to trunks, who only has a, ca a causality type 1, I forgot to mention that, but he does. Uh, Silver also has causality manipulation and limited space-time manipulation. Um, and then he also has invulnerability in his super form. Now, one thing to note here is that Super Silver basically... I'm pretty sure he's on par with, like, Supersonic and Super Shadow, and Supersonic was, like, able to, you know, do the whole thing with the multiverse and the Super Genesis wave. Now, okay. So now that I've basically run down their abilities and stuff, it's time to get weird. So, a lot of people, from what I've seen at least, tend to scale Archie Sonic characters, like, specifically, like, Archie Sonic Herald, like, um, Sonic, Shadow, Silver, Knuckles, Mogo, Mo Mogul, um, that other alien wizard guy. They tend to, like, scale them to, like, like, a low, low complex multiversal, which is insane, because that, 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 that alone is capable of soloing anything in regular Dragon Ball canon. Even, like, Zeno, who was also, like, who's basically the most powerful character in that, in, main, in the main Dragon Ball series. <clears throat> but, with, like, Dragon Ball Hero, with Super Dragon Ball Heroes, um, Trunks, like, a lot of character, a lot of people tend to, tend to scale them to TV, to two, two, like, different, oh man, I'm stumbling today. I am so sorry, I did not script this, this is all unscripted, but a lot of people tend to scale Xeno characters, specifically, like, stuff from Dragon Ball Heroes, which I'm assuming they're pulling from, which means there's no gonna be, like, there's no Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1 or 2 feats coming into play. Uh, don't quote me on that, I could be wrong, I'm always wrong about things. But they tend to scale them to either two tiers. Either Multiversal Plus, or, like, High Multiversal Plus, which is below Low Complex Multiversal, or hyperversal, which is above it. Now, it is really. I've seen more evidence for multiverse, like multiversal plus, high multiversal plus uh, Xenoverse characters. And I've only seen people say, say that these characters are hyperversal without actually giving any evidence. So. I'm going to do this in two different ways. I'm going to scale them first to the high multiversal stuff and then the hyperversal stuff. With the high multiversal stuff, it's pretty obvious that Silver basically beats him in attack power. Also speed, because Archie characters are... They, like... If, if, if they can scale consistently to Sonic, you know that they're going to get to, like, a measurable speed. And you can also get these characters, uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse characters, or Dragon Ball Heroes characters, to immeasurable. But I'm pretty sure most people just, uh, just tend to scale them to massively faster than light, plus. So, I'm pretty sure Silver probably takes the speed. And if you scale them to the high multiversal stuff, he's also going to take the attack power. But... If you're going to scale them to hyperversal, which I personally, I don't believe at all, then you're going to get Trunks, who has le who has worse speed than Silver, but higher attack power and higher durability. 
which means that no matter, even if Silver does speed flits, Trunks is probably still strong enough to, and tough enough to basically beat Silver. And then, this is the thing I, I was, I was like, worried about talking about. The Key Sword. The Awakened Key Sword, the Dormant Key Sword, whatever. I don't know if that's standard for Heroes Trunks. Um, from what people have said to me, I think, I think it is. If it isn't, then I'm gonna say that Silver is probably gonna win, because the only way Trunks can really properly, like, actually, like, win-win without hyperversal scaling is with the Key Sword, which basically, I think, if I remember correctly, I said this before, but again, I'm always wrong about things. Um, it nullifies hacks, meaning that most of Silver's arsenal, basically gone. So even if Silver does have higher attack uh, power, durability, speed than Trunks, Trunks could probably still win by nullifying his hacks with the Key Sword and finishing him off there. Because, like, even as Super Silver, where he's, like, practically invulnerable... I'm pretty sure the Key Sword and Silver himself actually, or uh, Trunks himself actually has ways to bypass durability or like negate durability. So even if Silver isn't vulnerable, Trunks could still hurt him. Also, there's also the fact that Super Forms don't last forever. While I'm pretty sure they can last a long time in the Archie in the Archie universe. Um, I'm pretty sure the best example of this is when Sonic fought, en uh, fought Enerjack, and he battled him from day into night. Which probably means it can last about, let's assume, 12 hours at most. But at least, it's probably about an hour. Because, like, let's just say that if Sonic went super and did completely nothing, it could probably last about, like, a day or 12 hours or something like that. At max. But while he's fighting, using like chaos powers and stuff, it will probably last a lot shorter. So it really depends on how much energy they have. And then there's the fact that Silver... I don't know if he's connected to the Chaos Force like Sonic and Shadow and Knuckles. So I don't know if he can pull off any of the crazy Chaos Control bullshit that um, Sonic can. I don't know if he's, if he's, like, capable of, of, like, resetting his multiverse or something like that. Again, I could be wrong. And even then, even if he could, then the hyperversal scaling for people who believe that, I personally don't. The only, the only times I've actually seen people refer to, uh, Heroes character, uh, Dragon Ball Heroes characters as hyperversal is basically... There was one time on TikTok, there was, like, a power scaler who I'm pretty sure a lot of people, like, have easily debunked him before. So, his word is very, like, very, like, uh, limited, or very, like, it's not as credible. Uh, he scales, um, heroes' characters to hyperversal. And then there are also some people on the Death Battle wiki who say that Xeno, uh, uh, Hero's characters are hyperversal, but, uh, I've never seen anyone actually bring up proper evidence of that, so, until I actually see evidence, then I'm inclined to not really believe, uh, hyperversal, Z uh, Dragon Ball Heroes. So, overall, I'm pretty sure my thoughts are, if Trunks doesn't get Hyperversal scaling or the key sword Because I don't know if it's standard or not then he's definitely gonna lose but if trunks does get hyperversal scaling and With no key sword then he'll win if trunks doesn't get the key sword or if trunks does get the key sword without hyperversal scaling I'm pretty sure he could pull off a victory because of the key swords abilities but if he doesn't get the key sword and hyperversal scaling, then Trunks should still win based on better attack power um, and better durability as well. And also probably some better hacks as well. I'm pretty sure he has like way more stuff, but I, 
I couldn't find it all. So, so yeah. Um, it's basically 3-1 to one, Trunks to Silver. Silver has one shot at victory, and that's without Hyperversal Scaling and without the Key Sword. Which, again, don't know if that's standard or not. So if it is standard, Silver screwed. If it's not standard, it's a 50-50 shot. Um, yeah. That's about it. That's really all I have to say. Um, uh, like, like, matchup-wise. Or, um, versus-wise. But now, we get to my favorite part. Discussing what the animation could be like. So, I'm pretty sure if it isn't obvious enough, this is basically gonna be a spiritual successor to, uh, Wally vs. Sonic. Which, I massively enjoyed. Uh, anyone who saw my All Sonic Death Battle videos ranked, link in the description, um, will know that I really did like that episode. I ranked it, if I remember correctly, I ranked it fifth on the list? Yeah, I think so. It did have problems, but it was still a really good episode. It was really done well, it was really well done animation-wise. So, now what? So, one thing I really want them to do with this episode is get the speed of the characters right. Especially with Silver, because he's definitely more inclined to be the foster of the two characters. So I would really want him to have like reverse flash blistering speed, like how well reverse flash had um, super fast speeds in uh, Goku Black versus reverse flash. And I also want Trunks to come off as, like, really physically strong. Because he is physically strong. I mean, Saiyans are physically strong beings. Um, <clears throat> and I don't really know if Trunks has, like, or if Silver has anything, like, outside of Super Silver. So maybe what could happen is... If they do have to use Super Silver... So what could happen is, they start out in base forms, Trunks then goes into Super Saiyan. Or they could just straight to, skip straight to Super Saiyan God. Uh, take your pick. They could either uh, go to Super Saiyan and have him fight Base Silver, and then Base Silver turns into Super Silver, and then Trunks amps it up by going Super Saiyan God, and then they fight, and then one of the characters wins. Or they could just pull the Thor versus the Vegeta and have him skip to, like... Or... I guess no, because Thor vs. Vegeta had Vegeta go, like, uh, blue evolved? Or was that just regular blue? I can't tell. They had him go, uh, Super Saiyan blue, and then to Ultra Ego. So maybe what they could do is have, um, Trunks go into Super Saiyan, then into Super Saiyan God, and then Trunks, and then he gets the upper hand on Silver, and Silver goes into... Uh, Super Silver, and then they have a fight, one of them loses. Or they could just skip to sh uh, straight to Super Saiyan God. I'm personally fine with whatever, I just... I just want to see Silver respected, because... Like I said, Ben isn't really... Um, a big fan of Silver, Ben Singer. Um, and I really don't want him to disrespect the character. I know a lot of people are like, Oh, they won't disrespect the characters anymore, they don't do that stuff anymore. I know they don't, but... There are still some, like, moments where they kind of just disrespect the characters a bit. Like, even in Mario vs. Sonic 2018, Sonic didn't get a lot of hits in on, so in, on Mario. And the hits he did land, kind of meaningless, actually. So, I want Silver to have some respect. Despite the post's bias against him. Then, um... What else? Uh, the track. Uh, I want the track kind of like to be a mix between Dragon Ball music and also Sonic 06 music, because that was the game uh, Silver originated from. And also, like, Sonic 06's soundtrack. Freaking banger it is. The game is... Actually, I'm going to probably piss off a lot of people here. The game... Functionally was bad and also story-wise is also a bit bad, but the soundtrack the soundtrack Absolute banger there was so yeah And the final thing 
final, final, final thing. Uh, what else do I want from this episode? I guess that's really about it. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, yeah. I'm excited. I really am excited for this episode. I probably, I'll try not to let my Sonic bias get the better of me and hate on this episode too much. I'll try and be impartial. Actually, no, I will, I will be, I will be a nice to this episode. Unless it's bad, then I will be brutally horrible to this episode. But, given how Death Battle Season 9 has been recently, the only episode that I would actually call bad was John Yaucha versus Boba Fett. So, yeah. I'm hyped. Um, and I can't wait for this. This ep the wait, the wait, uh, the waiting for this episode is gonna be hell. But I'll, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll manage. I survived the waiting period for uh, Wu Kong versus Hercules, and that was one of my favorite episodes of season seven, uh, season nine. So I'll be fine here. Anyway. That's really all the time I have for today. I will all see you probably tomorrow when my Black Adam vs. Apocalypse review comes out. Bye.